In the last video, we took a look at creating a link between an Excel file and a web service. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to now take this process one step further and incorporate this web service into a web application. You begin by going up to Add-ins, and then hitting Spreadsheet Web 2.3 and opening up the wizard. From here you click Next, and you add a worksheet. First we need to define the display area. We want to make sure that the user can see all of the cells that are being used for inputs and outputs. Then we can click Next and select our one input cell. Here we can select a different default value if we'd like. We'll just stick with Microsoft Stock for now. You make sure that the type is still set to text box and hit Next. Here we can just change the label to Refresh and hit Next. Hit next to convert. And then we can hit upload to upload it to the internet. Here we just type in our username and password. Now you can use the web service features in a web application. It's fully functional and can produce up to date information about stocks. For example, if we wanted to take a look at information about Google stocks, we could just go in and change the symbol to Google's and we can get up-to-date information about that stock. Using this technology, it becomes possible to incorporate web services that find stock, retrieve weather information, or even connect to GPS systems. Within Excel, this constantly updated information can create much more complex dashboards, charts, and tools than we have created here. The possibilities are really endless. This has been a brief overview of how to convert web services from Excel into web applications using Spreadsheet Web. Thanks so much for listening.